Hi guys, welcome back to another video and as you can see I am completely makeupless today because I am going to record like a chatty get ready with me video so let's just start and put on a little headband because I do have some like stray hairs flying around all over the place and I'm really sorry about my skin um, most of you might know that I actually quit birth control pills for the second time in my life last October and I have really bad acne prone skin and I'm actually getting um, like medical treatment for that right now but the facial skin is getting a little bit worse as well. So sorry about that but we're going to cover that all up with some awesome makeup. So. Um, let me see, I'm just going to ramble a little bit in this video and I'm going to start off with my Pokemon Kathy doll like foundation. This is a matte powder cushion oil control la di la whatevs. I actually bought this in Thailand and it works really really well. It is a really nice shade and it comes with a cute little puff and you just press it in and you got the product on your little powder puff and this has the best coverage ever and I got my mirror right here so if I'm looking like not to you guys like not straight in the camera it's because my mirror is right here but I'm just going to apply this to the like I have so I always have like a darker spot right here I don't know why that is I actually do have to say that even though my chin area is really like breaking out at the moment um, I'm really really happy that I don't have acne on my forehead or like my cheeks anymore because when I was younger I actually had a lot of like bumps on my forehead and now I only have like the hormonal um, acne if you know what I mean so if you get acne because of your hormones, which is actually the same as it is in my case, if you know what I mean, um, you get it around your uh, chin a lot. And I also got it on my shoulders and my upper back. And that's why I actually went to my uh, doctor and asked him if I could see my dermatologist again. Because you can't just go and make an appointment at the dermatologist here in Holland. You have to go to your regular like doctor um, and he will uh, suggest or like decide if it's bad enough to go to your dermatologist if you know what I mean so I went to my regular like doctor and he was like okay so you're 27 right now and you quit birth control like that's all fine yada yada um, but he did feel like the acne was like he felt like I was too old to have acne like this so he's like I'm just going to prescribe you with some um, in Dutch it is called Minocycline so it is some kind of antibiotics but I don't know if it has the same name in English so I will actually look it up and put it in like the, the description box or in the article I'm going to post this video in on my blog so you guys know what I am on at the moment. So even though I quit birth control and my skin is acting up I really do feel a lot better like in my own skin even though my skin is the only thing that's really getting like a big big smack in the face because of it because that's the only thing I noticed since I quit birth control like my acne got back like I was completely rid of it uh, three years ago when I actually started treatment for my skin because within nine months nine to ten months I was completely acne free uh, especially in the face on the back it was like 99% gone um, I didn't have any issues anymore but since I quit birth control again and the reason I did quit birth control pills especially is because I felt I got really really depressed like um, when I first started birth control pills again about three years ago as well um, I was really happy really cheerful I, I felt like on top of the world you know and uh, 
like slowly, not surely, but slowly I got back into like the really depressed feeling like the, the, the weight of the world was upon my shoulders, like really girls and women, like adult women, will really understand how that feels like what I'm describing right now. It just feels like everything... It, I, I don't know how to explain this like perfectly, but it felt like I everything I had to do was taking me so much time and energy and effort and I didn't feel like I was... Um, doing the things I loved anymore, even though I continued like doing my blog and YouTube and all that stuff. But it just felt like I wasn't happy anymore and I really didn't want to be that depressed um, girl all the time, especially for my husband but also for myself because you don't want to be depressed, you know, and I am already a little bit prone to depression, um, like genetically. Um, I really was like, okay, okay I, I, I have two options, like first is to go in like therapy and get medication because I was feeling depressed and the other side was just to quit birth control pills again because I know that was the thing that caused me to get so depressed. So I quit birth control, I feel a lot better, um, I'm really happy again in life, um, even though there are some things like personal stuff I'm I'm working through or getting through, you know. <laughs> They're going to continue with a little bit of concealer under the eyes and I am using one by Catrice. This one is almost gone actually. It is one of my favorites. It's really affordable for about four euros. It's the liquid camouflage high coverage concealer. But we were talking, or at least I was talking, <laughs> about the fact that I quit birth control and I just quit birth control because of my emotional state, let's just put it to that. It's not like we are trying to get pregnant or anything like that. I know I am 27 and a lot of people are expecting us to get pregnant. Especially because we've been together for 13 years already. Oh, and I'm just tapping in the uh, concealer right away. I really prefer using my fingers for that. <laughs> so I just use a little bit on the chin area where I have my breakouts to just add a little bit more coverage. Like, I don't really feel like when you have acne you should cover up everything because in daily life I don't use any makeup. I already have some mascara on because I did went to work today and I just wanted to add a little bit of mascara especially because in my break at work I went to um, the city I work close by to pick up some new frames or like some new glasses because I actually am a glasses wearing girl and every year I am able to choose some new frames and get my eyes measured again to see if they got any worse or any better and I only wear glasses um, at work or when I drive my car and stuff like that because now I'm filming I can actually see myself pretty clear in the viewfinder and I can also see what I'm doing oh I'm sorry by the way my phone like the the sound is on because my husband is um, like going out with some of his co-workers so I actually have to pick him up later on this evening now I'm filming this so that's why the sound of my phone is on usually you will never hear that in one of my videos but because he is out on a mandate you know <laughs> and I have to go pick him up because he will be drinking some beers and you know guys who go out just just have some fun, you know. But what was I actually talking about? I can't remember anymore, but oh well. Um, as an eyeshadow base, I'm using my old but trusty Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to try and apply that to the eyelids without messing up my mascara, because usually when I already wear mascara and I don't want to take it off, it tends to like clog into my lashes, like the eyeshadow base 
and I really really hate how that looks. I'm just going to set my face really quickly with this Essence powder and I did hit pan again on this one and this is the Essence All About MAC uh, Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And I'm just going to use a really fluffy brush for that. This one is by Coastal Sands. So yeah, I'm home alone this evening and that's actually quite, uh, quite weird <laughs> because it has been ages that I actually was home alone like for an evening you know my husband isn't really like a partier or like he doesn't go out that often and I don't either <laughs> so we're kind of boring <laughs> but yeah I'm just going to do my brows real quick and oh and for brows I'm going to use the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the color blonde. I've been using this for ages and it works really really well. And I'm just going to use this small silver colored like Real Techniques dupe brush for it. And to make it all perfect I'm going to run through them really quickly with a spoolie. Like it's nothing fancy. Okay, then I want to do like a little bit of contouring. I think I'm going to use a blush, but I'm going to have to uh, dive down into my stash to actually get one because I recently cleaned up my entire desk, so I don't have every product on here anymore. So I'll be right back with a little bit of contour. I'm going to use this NYX palette, it is the Highlight and Contour Pro palette and I am going to use this shade to contour a little bit and I'm going to use one of my cute mermaid tail brushes and just go like... Damn! That is actually a little bit too much! I forgot how pigmented <laughs> this one was! Ooh, damn girl! That's really, really too much. <laughs> Damn! It's like I've been hit in the face with a broom or something. <laughs> okay, so it is enough for that side. I'm just going to have to blend this out a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to quickly run over it with my <laughs> foundation puff because now it really looks really, really too much. But that's just bad. That's like... Damn! You know, it doesn't really matter if you're like doing this for years, you can still mess up your makeup pretty badly. <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. I actually rarely contour my nose because I'm just really not good at it. <laughs> um, I actually also got out a blush and this one is one by Catrice. I don't know if it is still available but it is 020 Coral Me Maybe and it is called uh, the Illuminating Blush and it has this really really pretty pattern. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of this like not too much because I already messed it up with the um, with the bronzer and I like to shape and contour with a blush as well so I just run over the bronzer with the blush and just put it on the temples a little bit as well just a little bit on the nose to get back some of that color we lost then I'm just going in with this highlighter from that NYX palette as well oh I got a little itch let's see if I got a their brush. Hmm. I lost a brush. How can I lose a brush in this room? Like, really? 
I lost my angled brush. Well, I'm just going to use this big fan brush instead. Okay. Hmm. I don't feel like this brush is really working for me at the moment, so I'm just going to take this brush by Essence, and it is an eye blender brush, but it is kind of like a big, big blending brush, so I'm just going to use that for my highlighter today. And it's actually a really nice size to highlight the nose and the top lip as well. And the other side. Just swirl it into the skin. I really do like this palette by NYX or NYX or however you want to call it. <laughs> it is pretty decent and it's also really affordable. Oh, I'm actually going to highlight underneath the brow with that same highlight color from that NYX palette. I actually don't know what I'm going to do with my face or like with the eyes for the rest of this look. For the eyes, I have no idea what I'm going to do, so I'm just going with the flow and see what else what will go out. Um, I'm going to use the Pastel Goth palette by Kat Von D and I think I actually wanted to do something pink but I've done a lot of pink looks lately because of Valentine's Day and that entire season so I think I'm just going to start with this yellow color and these are all matte colors I hope I have enough like blending brushes clean or otherwise I'm going to have to clean brushes right now Okay, so here we go. I'm just loading up the brush pretty decently and I'm just going into the crease. I really, really like this yellow color because even though it is a matte color, it has a lot of pigment and I really, really like that. But I have to say I am picking up quite a bit of that color. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease area. But yeah, we were talking about a lot of different stuff. <laughs> like, I'm really curious if there are any of my viewers or blog followers or Instagram users, whatever. Um, who also quit Burkins World Pills and experienced that they are less like down, and gloomy and depressed. So I'm really really curious to hear about all of your experiences. Next up I'm going in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I know this one is discontinued. But and I think I am going in with I think I want to make it like really really bright so I'm just going in with this pink and this like orange color but I'm picking up the pink first like really really slightly and I'm just going to put that a little bit in the outer V and it's actually turning orange while blending that into the yellow so I'm just I think I'm just going to use this on the lid like the lower part of the lid and just blending that up into the yellow and as you see it actually blends itself from pink to orange to yellow so that's pretty cool I'm just applying, I really really like applying all of my eyeshadows with like a fluffy blending brush. Like some people are like, oh you should use other brushes, blah blah blah. But I really really like um, applying my shadows with a fluffy brush. 
because it blends right away and you don't have to be um, worried about your lines you know and I really do feel like this is a freaking cool effect because I do know like all the color ranges and how to mix colors to make other colors but I really do feel like this is like cool to see how it actually does mix really really well okay I do want to get a little bit of that orange and I'm just going in right away with that same brush we used for the pink and I'm just going to use that orange a little bit in the outer V but mostly like really pressing into that crease I don't want to go too high with that orange because I don't want to use or uh, lose the yellow in this makeup this is really like a rainbowy look okay then I think I am going in with some of that blue and green. I really think that will be really, really pretty. So I'm going in with... Ooh, my brush is falling out. I'm going in with, let me see, this lime, this light green. And I'm also going in with this blue on the lower part. So I'm just going to take that lime first and I'm just going to apply that lime in the inner corner and just a little bit underneath the eye. And a little goes a very long way with these colors. So then take the a little bit darker green. brush I'm using one by Essence and this is the smoky eye brush it's more of like a, um, a dense pencil brush and I'm going in with this blue color and it's really really pigmented so you really only need a tiny tiny amount <laughs> like you don't even have to go into the pan that hard just tap it just give it two slight taps and you already have enough color oh I love this already I really love color and this I'm really like I am a true autumn girl like I love fall season I also love winter but I do feel like I've seen enough winter and enough cold already I just I want more bright colors and that's why I did this makeup <laughs> and I'm not even going to add extra highlight or anything I do want to add just a tiny bit of liquid liner and I am going to use this one by Essence it's the super precise eyeliner it is waterproof but I don't feel like it is super waterproof if you know what I mean I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. And continue on the other side. And make sure you go really, really close to the lashes, especially when you already have a coat of mascara on like I do. Like, I didn't feel like taking off my mascara on forehand, so yeah. And I think I actually want to go in with a black eyeliner for this. So I got this black Peggy Sage pencil and I'm just going to take one of my tiny sponges to pull my skin like low 
And what I do to line the upper lash line, I actually just put the pencil in, squeeze my eye a little bit shut and just run it across the upper lash line. Because I can't do it like with my eye open because it really annoys me. And I tend to get really really watering eyes if I keep my eyes open, if you know what I mean. If I just shut my lids down, I can get in there like more precise. Um, since I'm already wearing a little bit of mascara, I'm just going in with a little bit more and I'm using the Catrice Lashes to Kill Pro 24 Hour Instant Volume Mascara in Ultra Black. And I really really like this mascara. It's like an hourglass shaped brush. And I'm just adding a tiny bit. I don't want my lashes to get like clumpy or anything but this mascara is really really nice i actually just wrote a review article about it and it doesn't give a ton of volume just a tiny bit but it gives a really nice length and with just one layer it already looks really really nice but i'm just going to apply a little bit to the lower lash line as well like the rambling part kind of stops while <laughs> I started doing my eye makeup like really sorry about that guys I'm such I really have to like write a script for myself or something to just keep myself focused on what I'm doing <laughs> so we were talking about a lot of different stuff and I just quit <laughs> sorry about that um, for lips I actually wanted to use these two by Essence but I think it's a little bit too blue for my taste so I'm just going in with a nude color and I've used this lipstick a lot. It is by Atos, which is a Dutch drugstore brand and it's in the color Forbidden Pink. It's one by a Christmas collection, but this color, I just, I really love this color. It's really, really soft. For a look like this, like this bright, you could actually just go in with a bright pink, like the same shade we used on the lid I don't overdraw my lips I just follow the natural lip line for this but I do feel like I added a little bit too much like it's it's really really super creamy right now so I'm just going to take a big cotton round and just Just bite a little bit of that excess off. It's like, hello. Hi. How are you? Ah. <laughs> I'm such a nerd, like, really sorry, guys. Um, but, yeah. I think this is the entire look. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this was kind of like a random rambling video. And I'll just zoom you out a little bit, like... Hello, I've seen enough of your face up close that much, but um, yeah, I really hope you like this video. I'm sorry, it's like super rambly and not rambly at the same time, if you know what I mean. I actually wanted to make a really chatty, personal, get ready with me video, but I just kind of caught up in like the makeup and explaining what I did. So sorry about that, but I really liked making this video for you and if you want to see more please let me know in the comments down below or just send me an email or a direct message on Instagram or Facebook. But thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.